Hello folks, so I'm going to be talking about free expression and uh, what it means to me and how I'm doing things a little bit differently, or at least trying to. Um, I feel like oftentimes I've identified with the, th the, the mechanism in my mind that stops me from expressing. So, like, I identified myself with being the controller of things, like... Um, the, the filter, basically, the filter of, of the personality. I identified myself with the filter. And I feel like instead it would be more beneficial for me to identify myself with the thing that, the thing inside me that I'm trying to filter, the, the free expression that's trying to come out, as opposed to the filter. The thing is about that is it takes courage to allow yourself to express openly because you never know how it's going to be met. And when you express openly, um, you're, not, you're not identifying with the filter, so you don't know if you're going to say something that you might not come out the way you want it to come out. Okay, so it's just allowing this expression to flow unhindered and, um, and just <laughs> letting it go. But in order to do that, you need courage. And you need courage because... You have to have the courage to face whatever backlash would come as a result of not filtering. So if you say something that's maybe a misstep or something, or somebody perceives it as a misstep, um, you have to have the courage to have the endurance to deal with whatever uh, negative reaction you get as a result of that, or whatever judgment you get as a result of that. But identifying yourself with the free expression is very liberating because you, um, it's just, I feel like it's just the way the personality is supposed to be. And society and parents and schools and all these things are constantly getting people to police themselves internally. And it can be very harmful. I think as children, we express ourselves openly and we're, we're naturally in tune with that vibrant impulsive expression that we that we typically just have or born with and and we constantly learn to to beat ourselves to a pulp internally in order to stifle our impulsive free expression and i'm trying to undo that in my um in my behavior like if you notice like my like right now my thoughts are flowing more stream of consciousness because i'm actually not filtering anything that i say I'm just letting it come out without any kind of, um, you know, filter or whatever. So I feel like this is something that I want to work on and I want to get better at. And, you know, a key component is learning to take whatever uh, negative reactions come your way as a result. It doesn't mean you have to be, like a lot of people associate uh, free expression with some kind of offensiveness or, or negative uh offensive behavior free expression doesn't have to be offensive it doesn't have to be uh, dangerous or any kind of um, you know thing like that it's free expression is only dangerous or only offensive and mean if you are internally injured if you're injured emotionally uh, and you're taking out your pain on other people that's when it's going to be offensive but if you've healed emotionally there's really no danger in expressing yourself openly uh, however, that doesn't mean you won't run into some judgment because sometimes people will just judge you because of their own judgmentalness. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, just a matter of getting more in tune with the stream of consciousness and uh, not letting, not identifying yourself with the, the internal mechanism that is stopping you from expressing and rather identifying yourself with the force of nature, free expression that is inside you that is just itching to come out. Okay, and I know I'm not the most <laughs> expressive person, uh, facial, you know, wise and everything like that. But in, in the same way, I'm. This is still my way of expressing myself by just not hindering myself uh, verbally. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed that. All right, see ya.